Two SCOPE volunteers have been fired for their involvement in a burglary over the weekend. One man living in the home was assaulted. KXY 4's Ian Cole joins us now live. And Ian, this story raising a lot of questions about the background checks for these volunteers. It really is. And the SCOPE director says that each of their 500 plus volunteers go through a three part criminal background check. But the victims, the people who lived at the home where this burglary happened, say they have no idea how these two passed. Saturday night around 11 o'clock, court documents state 22-year-old Eric Ortiz showed up at 1027 East 29th, where he identified himself as a sheriff's deputy and part of the gang task force. Ortiz then broke into this garage and starting hitting the man inside over a personal dispute. Witnesses also say a woman to his side was wearing an official looking uniform as well, but neither the woman nor Ortiz are officers. Witnesses didn't want to talk on camera, but say the woman and another man who accompanied Ortiz were both scope volunteers, even drove up in an official scope cruiser and just stood by as the crime happened. The scope's been around nearly 20 years now. Uh, we have very few incidents uh, similar to this. And Rick Scott is the director of scope. He says Saturday night's incident is disappointing and both of the volunteers were fired this morning. Is that we're representing the, you know, the community and the sheriff's office in a positive way. So if there's anything that's in a negative way that, uh, that we, we can um, you know, uh, remove them from the program. Scope volunteers will help deputies fingerprint crime scenes. They also monitor the perimeters of those scenes but are not commissioned officers. They don't carry a weapon and cannot arrest people. The two that were fired this morning haven't been charged with anything, but Eric Ortiz faces charges of first degree burglary and impersonating a police officer. Investigators also say that both of the perpetrators and the victims and the people living at the home knew each other. Uh, they also say that uh, the scope volunteers uh, or we are choosing not to identify those scope volunteers because they have not been charged with anything as the Spokane Police Department and the Sheriff's Office continue to investigate. Reporting live at the Public Safety Building, Ian Cole, KXOI 4 News.